Hello, this is Dr. Zhu, and um, today's session is about learning heat, which is hyperintensity interval training. So let us begin. So heat can be applied actually for everyone. I mentioned it to you in my introduction that the specific heat workout, what you are going to study and learn here, it is going to be one of my special super fit workout. However, this template can be used for everyone. So you can bike, you can walk, walk or jog, jog and run, dance, use the elliptical trainer or swim, all that matter, if you are using these principles of a workout, which is you create one interval which will have one work bout and one rest bout. And if you have done my uh, fitness practitioner course, then you learn all this there, even more great detail. So this is how a simple interval training looks like, which can be applied very greatly as a heat workout for anyone who is more of a beginner. Why? Because here you are using simpler motions like jogging and walking and uh, alternating the two with a specific intensity. So for this, heat can be used for everyone. How do we measure the intensity? The intensity is measured via the RPE scale. Perceived exertion chart will show here what does it mean. We actually rate how you feel during the exercise from 1 to 10. From 1 to 10. 1 is that basically you don't do anything. 2 and 3 is a light activity. Breathing is easy. 4 and 6 is a moderate activity can still carry on a conversation. Seven and eight is a hard activity. It feels hard. You are out of breath and can speak a sentence or two. And number nine is very hard activity. Can speak only a word at a time. And number 10 is very, very hard. It's completely out of breath and unable to talk. So now you need to actually learn this because uh, if you are using the heart rate monitor, Heart rate monitor is also a very good methodology. However, sometimes your heart rate can jump up very quickly if you were stressed, you had a hard day. So it's much easier to use the perceived exertion chart to make sure that the intensity is accurately monitored during your workout. In general, how do we do a heat workout? First of all, your work bouts are two to three minutes on your RPE of seven, to eight and nine, okay? It's all how it feels. For a beginner, an RPE of seven and eight comes on a much lower intensity than for an advanced or an intermediate uh, person. And the rest bout is three to four minutes on the RPE of two and three. And what you do is you complete four to seven intervals of these. So one interval is one work bout and one rest bout, and you actually repeat this four to seven times. So to generate your general heat workout, this is your one interval, how it looks like. So you basically, actually this is two intervals, sorry. So I just made it into a circuit like this. So if this is um, one work and one rest and one work and one rest, so that would be actually two intervals here for you. However, once you are getting a little bit higher in your training, this can actually mean one workout for you. And I will show you why, how it looks like is in the next 